All right, so today I want to fix the front fender on my CB500. I've got this bracket here that expands across the forks. Previously, I had the fender on here attached up like that with two little, two little sort of bolts kind of thing that I made that went on the top of the fender and, and the whole thing just mounted up like that at just this one little point right here. And so someone in the comments when I did this in the previous video was very wise and said, you know, this is gonna rattle and it's gonna break, right? And that's basically what happened. So today what I wanna do is sort of redo this and add a, another piece of quarter inch rod that runs down the center of the fender, down the back here, and basically comes off the fender and comes up and reinforces this whole section down here, really solidifies all this stuff so that we don't have this ability for this thing to wobble like that. As you've already noticed, I've already cut out the previous connection point. I've welded in a little reinforcement here and then another reinforcement on the bottom. So this thing is sort of back to flat up here and we've got extra metal on the bottom. So now from here, I wanna make the little quarter inch rod that will run the radius of this fender going down and sort of have another connection point down here. All right, so here's my quarter inch rod that I'm gonna use. And my first step is basically to sort of figure out how long this thing's gonna be, approximately. And it should be somewhere around in there. All right, so now I wanna bend this to the same shape as the fender. To do that, I'm simply gonna use my vise. Open this thing up. So this got to fit in here a little bit. And then we'll just do a series of bends until this thing is about where we want it. Now we've got it where we want it, approximately. That doesn't look bad right there like that, huh? Hmm. Huh, huh. Let's leave that alone for right now. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is cut some of this half inch rod. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drill this and tap it. And this is gonna be my little nut that I'm going to weld on to this guy. I'm gonna do two of these guys. <laughs> the piece I'm starting out with, let's go to the mill or the lathe. Let's go to the lathe. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do with my little rod in here is face that off. So I've got a little bit here that comes in. I'm gonna clean off the front face of that thing so that it is nice and flat on the end. All right, with that done, now I'm gonna move on to drilling a hole through that thing. All right, so our hole is now drilled in there. Now, and then I've got this guy here with my little tap on the end of it. All right, I've now got two little threaded nuts here. Let's go to the bike. The bike, let's go to the bike. I've got a, uh, a bolt to go along with my new nut and I'm gonna screw these things on here. So they'll hold the nut in place where it needs to be ultimately. And then I'm gonna come through and weld the fender onto the bottom again. All right, now we've got the fender. Roll this thing up here, put it where I want it to be. And I'm gonna tack that thing on there. All right, now I've got a couple tacks in here. I'm gonna take this off and weld this up more fully. All right, now I've gone ahead and made this sort of little bracket piece here. This little piece, it's like eighth inch thick. And this basically works. I'm gonna go on top like this. I'm gonna bolt down through that to the actual fender. And then off the back of this guy, I'm gonna put that quarter inch rod and that's gonna to go to the rest of the fender. So everything's gonna to tie together here. All right, so here is my little quarter inch rod with my new little bracket piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and weld that on where it is. All right, so I've got everything sort of mocked up here and everything is on there the way it's supposed to be, the way it's gonna be. You can see we've got some little support braces in there, little pieces there. They're just sitting there right now. And this comes down and sort of tapers down to the actual fender right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tack everything on here right now while it's on the actual fender on the bike. And then we'll take this off and see if we can get everything fully welded in 
and put it back on here, test fit it, and then we're done, hopefully. Hopefully we're done. And I actually think, I think it actually looks pretty good on there. It's subtle, but once you see it, you're like, oh, that's a nice custom piece. All right, it seems stiffer than it was. Time will tell, we'll have to take it out for a test ride. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this stuff up, give it a bit of paint, and then we'll do like a long-term test ride of it and see how durable it is. Just like we did with the last one. All right, the fender is nicely painted now. Let's get it off of here and onto the bike. All right, there it is. Hopefully, this thing's gonna work. Hopefully, I've actually made this thing stronger. We'll see. I'd like to think I have. I'd like to think that this is not wobbling as much as it used to, and this will be more steady on the highway. On the highway. We'll see, time will tell. So, test ride. Mm -hmm. 